Hey everybody, welcome to ATV with Roscoe. My name's Charles. As you can see, I bought myself a Tenere 700. And I'm gonna tell you why I think now is the time to buy one. Let's get up to Lottie Flats. Let's go try this thing out on some gravel roads. And we're gonna talk about why now is the time. If you've been thinking about buying a, a T7, I think now is the time. Let's get up there, check this thing out. See how this bike feels. Right, this is why I bought this bike and why I bought it now and not when it was uh, when it first came out when they first came out they were hard to get and it was supposed to be a ten thousand dollar bike I'd be lucky to find one for 14 so I waited and uh, I decided after you know watching uh, Craigslist in the marketplace that there's a lot of bikes on the market right now that are slightly used with a shit ton of accessories already on them. The accessories that are necessary and some that are kind of wish list items. Uh, you could buy bikes that already have crash bars, that already have uh, suspension tunes or whatever. And they're all out there from, with mileage, anywhere from, you know, as low as a thousand miles on a used bike. Um, so I started uh, looking and this one came in front of me at 1700 miles and it had a whole list of every accessory and a few or aftermarket parts parts that I would have put on it came with uh, throttle lock high windshield um, crash bars high pipe bigger foot pegs, one finger clutch, um, what else? Uh, the bigger fuel tank, which I sold, I don't need that. The skid plate that I would have bought, the, uh, it's not on there yet. Uh, he had installed it, so I've got that in my garage. But I wanted the plastic uh, skid plate. I hate that sound of rocks dinging off the bottom of my bike. This bike had a plastic skid plate. It had Moto Z tires on it already. And it was 1,700 miles. And I paid the same price that you'd buy a brand new bike for. And in my opinion, with 1,700 miles, it's a brand new bike. So that's why I think the value is now on the Tenere 700. If it's one you're looking for, and this is my first ride, really ride on it. I've, I've ridden uh, my riding partner Danny's bike a few times. So far, it's handling great. It's, it's, um, it's enjoying this road. I'm enjoying this road on this bike. It's not loaded up. I, I don't have my bags on it. This is just a day ride. All I have is a chair, something to drink, and my spot locator. Um, so we're, we're running pretty light. I don't feel the top heaviness of this bike. 
Danny, he always said, Charles, as soon as you start rolling, it feels like a dirt bike. And so far, he's right. I'm really tempted to take off on some of these uh, single track trails, but I am here by myself and it is a brand new bike to me. So maybe we'll hold off on that, but it feels good. Um, oh, this bike also has a Corbin uh, comfort seat on it. That's not the seat I want. Um, I need, I, I think it's a little tall for me. So I will probably go with the, uh, the Corbin low seat. Just a little tall on, on a off-road bike. Oh, somebody's truck slid off the road. On an off-road bike, I like to be flat-footed or damn close to it. Uh, just gives me a little more confidence. Again, thinking about a Tenere, I think now's the time to jump in. You have friends with them. I have a friend that paid fourteen thousand for his. I got this for twelve, twelve five setup. So, but he's had his bike for a couple of years. Who's the winner? I don't know. But for me, now's the time. All right, everybody, I hope you find this a little bit uh, entertaining, a little bit informative. Um, feel free to follow the channel. I don't do much of this sort of stuff uh, because I'd rather just ride than yak and give advice that doesn't mean anything. So uh, if you enjoyed the channel, like, subscribe, share, and you know, hang out on, online with me and we'll, we'll do some fun stuff. All right, everybody, I'll see you out there. Let's go ride. Let's go overland. Let's go ski. Let's cook. Let's go do something.